Hello YouTube, this is Mark Woods with another video, I'm here to show you guys how to build a lithium bank. So first process is going to be to take this thing apart. Let me show you guys the bars. Now these are some real, some real thick bars. Let me see if I can take them out real quick. These are the bus bars right here. Like I said, they real thick. Let's see what else up in the box. I got these from uh, Counter uh, Conveniary uh, Car Audio. And they do have a YouTube channel. Check them out. They also have an Instagram and a Facebook. They do a lot of big projects there. The bars look like they made pretty good, you know. I was I was thinking like, dang, they they do cost a lot of money, but now I know the reason. Up oh, more stickers, more stickers. So that might be going on a custom box also. We are going to do that custom box, by the way. I'm gonna go through with that. Let's check out. Like I said, they have like all type of stuff, custom stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Let's see if we can cut one of these bars out. Then once I get once I get started, y'all, I'm gonna uh, put the camera on the stand for you guys to see what I'm doing. But that's one of the bus bars. These are pretty big. And the reason I know why Worm, you know, Worm said get them is because they real thick. They weigh thicker than a uh, aluminum is. Oops. Right now they are cold. They made them pretty good though. This is they call them uh custom bus bar bus bars. Put this on the floor. Get a clear workstation. Got a bus bar. These the little uh, skinny ones right here. These gonna be the ones that go on the end at the top. At the same time, we're gonna show you guys how to hook up the balancer too. This is all I'm learning this today as we as we go along, you know. I'm learning how to do this also. So as we doing this, we're gonna go ahead and get started, you know, and show show you guys how the whole process go. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, we back. As y'all can see all the screws everywhere. Like I said, these bus bars are real, real thick. I got to go to Lowe's. Because I tried these screws to see if these screws work. So I'm going to go to Lowe's and pick up all the screws for them. For the recess holes, for the little holes on top. I already got them lined up to the way they're going to go. Y'all yeah, can see that the, the little power bank, power beast is taken apart. It's a little messy in here, guys. So... Because I got all everything laid everywhere. But once I get everything done, you will see a pretty clean presentation. So, alright. I'll see you guys at Lowe's. Alright, y'all. We back. Now, we starting off with one roll. So, we start off with one roll. Once I once I get the roll going all the way all the way down, y'all see. Yeah. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, I got uh two rolls done. Got to tighten them up a little bit more though, but. 
you know, as long as you're going the opposite way, you know, like right here, I got the positive. And I got, I mean, I got the positive and the negative. I got the negative, positive going up and the negative. It's going, I'm going to have to switch this over. And this is going to be probably, you know, now I don't have to flip. I think it will be the top. Once I get through, I'll be able to show y'all more better though. But this is how I got them out. As long as you got opposite, they're going opposite directions on each side. You are all right. So let me go ahead and finish. All right, we back. Now, I got it laying down the other way, but we can explain on how to uh, hook up the balancer while we got the balancer down here. That's your balancer. So, from one end to the other, you know, we can scoot it over there. You would start with the negative and the positive, like uh, B, B negative and B B1 positive, you will uh, put them together and then put, that should be the uh, black, the black and yellow wire right there. So that starts on your negative. And then on the other side, you want to do the, uh, the B6, that's what it says, let's see. Yeah, that's the B6. The B6 and the B5, you want to put them together. And that should be your uh, red and yellow. And that goes on your positive side. Remember, all these screws will be important with the exception of the power connection screws. I'm going to turn it over for you guys so y'all can see something else. But that's, that's one. Then you want to go to the next one. The next one will be your white. That's B negative. So, or B positive. Yeah, it's a B2 positive. So, that'd be your white. Your white will go on the bottom. Now, you can do it on different sizes if you want to. It don't matter. So, oh, and that's that uh, violet blue. Or velvet blue. That goes right in the middle. I mean, you can come back to this video and, and check it out. But that blue would be B3. So B4. B4 would be the uh, green wire. And the green wire is going to go on the bottom of it. Now I'm about to uh, flip it over. Give me one second. So you can see the top of it. I'm going to let it slide on through. My tested volts is 12. So it do need a little charging up. It's getting balanced, but it needs to be balanced a little bit more. So, but as y'all can see, I got the negative and positive. So this would be your. So when you start it, when you start it, when you start it, you want to start these two sections right here. These two sections right here. In this case, you want to go, you know, positive up and all the way down one row. So your first your first row will be positive, then your next row will be uh negative. That's negative on the bottom, so and your positive should be up. So we'll say positive negative up, but you'll have this thing upside down. Right here, you're going to positive, and then right here you're going back to negative. Now this is how it should look on top. This would be your uh your positive connection for the battery and your negative connection. Yeah. I think it came out nice, man. Let's look on the top. I'm missing one screw, so I'm not gonna I ain't I ain't gonna hook it up this weekend anyway. It's gonna be probably by next Sunday. So I'm missing one screw. I gotta hook that, put that screw in there. It's one at the bottom because one of the screws, I, I mean, that's like all the old screws that's out of the beast. I ain't make the power beast. Let's see if so you can get a good shot of it. Yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, smash that like button. 
if you're new and love car audio and wants to learn car audio, please consider subscribing. This is Mark Woods. I'm out.